brake fluid is a type of hydraulic fluid used in hydraulic brake and hydraulic clutch applications in automobiles, motorcycles, light trucks, and some bicycles. It is used to transfer force into pressure, and to amplify braking force. It works because liquids are not appreciably compressible a euro in their natural state the component molecules do not have internal voids and the molecules pack together well, so bulk forces are directly transferred to compress the fluid's chemical bonds. Most brake fluids used today are glycol ether based, but mineral oil and silicone based fluids are also available. Brake fluids must meet certain requirements as defined by various standards set by organizations such as the SAE, or local government equivalents. For example, most brake fluids sold in North America is classified by the U.S. Department of Transportation under its own ratings such as DOT3 and DOT4. Their classifications broadly reflect the concerns addressed by the SAE's specifications, but with local details. Alaska and the Azores have different normal temperature and humidity ranges to consider, for example. Many countries defer explicitly to the SAE specifications, or simply refer to best practice, which in application would defer to SAE standard. All approved fluids must be colorless or amber to be acceptable for street use in the U.S., except for DOT5 silicon, which must be purple. Characteristics Brake fluids must have certain characteristics and meet certain quality standards for the braking system to work properly. Equals boiling point equals, brake fluid is subjected to very high temperatures, especially in the wheel cylinders of drum brakes and disc brake calipers. It must have a high boiling point to avoid vaporizing in the lines. This vaporization is a problem because vapor is highly compressible relative to liquid, and therefore negates the hydraulic transfer of braking force, so the brakes will fail to stop the car. Quality standards refer to a brake fluid's dry, and wet boiling points. Wet boiling point, which is usually much lower, refers to the fluid's boiling point after absorbing a certain amount of moisture. This is several percent, varying from formulation to formulation. Glycol ether brake fluids are hygroscopic, which means they absorb moisture from the atmosphere under normal humidity levels. Non-hygroscopic fluids are hydrophobic and can maintain an acceptable boiling point over the fluid's service life. Silicon-based fluid is more compressible than glycol-based fluid, leading to spongy feeling breaks. It can potentially suffer phase separation water pooling and freezing boiling in the system over time, the main reason single-phase hygroscopic fluids are used. Wet boiling point defined as 3.7% water by volume. Equals viscosity equals, for reliable, consistent brake system operation, brake fluid must maintain a constant viscosity under a wide range of temperatures, including extreme cold. This is especially important in systems with an anti-lock braking system, traction control, and stability control as these systems may use a valve with a time-based approach, rather than measuring pressure or volume to control the amount of fluid transferred. Equals corrosion equals, brake fluids must not corrode the metals used inside components such as calipers, wheel cylinders, master cylinders and ABS control valves. They must also protect against corrosion as moisture enters the system. Additives are added to the base fluid to accomplish this. The advantage of the Citro or NLHM mineral oil-based brake fluid is the absence of corrosion. Seals may wear out at high mileages but otherwise these systems have exceptional longevity. It cannot be used as a substitute without changing seals due to incompatibility. Equals compressibility equals, brake fluids must maintain a low level of compressibility, even with varying temperatures to accommodate different environmental conditions. This is important to ensure consistent brake pedal feel. As compressibility increases, more brake pedal travel is necessary for the same amount of brake caliper piston force. Service and maintenance, most automotive professionals agree that glycol-based brake fluid should be flushed or changed every one a year or two years under non-racing conditions. Many manufacturers also require periodic fluid changes to ensure reliability and safety. Once installed, moisture diffuses into the fluid through brake hoses and rubber seals and, eventually, 
the fluid will have to be replaced when the water content becomes too high. Electronic testers and test strips are commercially available to measure moisture content, however moisture test strips were taken off the market because they absorb moisture in the air before they can be used. The corrosion inhibitors also degrade over time. Degraded inhibitors cause corrosion in the braking system. The first metal to corrode is copper. You can determine when it is time to replace brake fluid when copper ions hit 200 ppm. New fluid should always be stored in a sealed container to avoid moisture intrusion. DOT5 is silicon fluid and the above does not apply. Ideally, silicon fluid should be used only to fill non-ABS systems that have not been previously filled with glycol-based fluid. Any system that has used glycol-based fluid will contain moisture. Glycol fluid disperses the moisture throughout the system and contains corrosion inhibitors. Silicon fluid does not allow moisture to enter the system, but does not disperse any that is already there either. A system filled from dry with silicon fluid does not require the fluid to be changed at intervals, only when the system has been disturbed for a component repair or renewal. The United States Armed Forces have standardized on silicone brake fluid since the 1990s. Silicon fluid is used extensively in cold climates, particularly in Russia and Finland. A small drop in brake fluid level in the master cylinder reservoir can be topped up, but if the level consistently drops, the cause should be investigated and repaired. Brake fluid level in the master cylinder will drop as the linings wear and the calipers or wheel cylinders extend further to compensate. Overspill from pushing back pistons should be avoided, because glycol-based fluid will quickly lift or strip paints and other coatings on contact. Brake fluid level may also be low because of a leak, which could result in a loss of hydraulic pressure and consequently a significant loss of braking ability. Modern cars have redundant hydraulic circuits to ensure against total hydraulic failure. Brake fluids with different DOT ratings cannot always be mixed. It must be of the same type, and at least the same rating. DOT 5.1 can replace DOT 4 and 3, DOT 4 can replace DOT 3. DOT 5 should not be mixed with any of these as mixing of glycol with silicon fluid may cause corrosion because of trapped moisture. Brake fluid is toxic and combustible and can damage painted surfaces. Components equals Castor oil based equals, castor oil alcohol, usually butanol or ethanol. Equals glycol based equals, or cholester, aliphaticum, diethylene glycol, diethylene glycol monoethyl ether, diethylene glycol monomethyl ether, dimethyl dipropylene glycol, polyethylene glycol monobutyl ether, polyethylene glycol monomethyl ether, polyethylene oxide, triethylene glycol monobutyl ether, triethylene glycol monoethyl ether, Triethylene glycol monomethyl ether. Equals silicon based equals, D2 ethyl spicate, dimethyl polysilixan, tributyl phosphate. See also, brake bleeding, disc brake, drum brake, hydropneumatic, Pascal's law. References. External links, Car Care Council, How Stuff Works, What Are the Different Types of Brake Fluid? Stop Tech, Brake Fluid 1A. HTTP, www.motorist or auto braking systems.